Hello there and welcome. Hope you're having a great start to your 2024. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own Disney style 3D animated character just like the one you're seeing right now on the screen. And we're going to be doing this using a couple of AI tools which are completely free for you to use. So let's get straight to the tutorial so I can show you how you can do this for yourself. So we're going to be using a tool that's called Styler AI to do this. Um, it's currently in beta and while it's in beta, it's free. While you watch this video, depending on when you watch this video, it might still be free or not. But for now, you get about 200 credits and it costs about four credits to do every video. So you can you have a lot of credits to play around with that. So you simply want to hit new project. To give your project a title, just simply click on right here at the top and you can give it whatever name you want to put. And depending on where you're trying to post this, whether shorts or regular YouTube, you can change the dimensions. For now, I'm going to leave it at the one by one. And there's several options. You can do text to image like you would Mid Journey, Dali, and a lot of these AI tools. But because we wanted to create something that looks like an image of us, what we want to do is take leverage of this image to image functionality that it has. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the image that I'm trying to use. So what you're simply going to do is click on the text to image. Now, what it wants you to do is to describe how this image looks like. But if you don't want to do that and if you want to get it quite accurate, there's a little AI option here for auto prompting. So we're going to click on that and the AI is going to analyze the image and it's going to describe it itself. All right. So you can see here it's given us a description of the image. A young man with a gray hoodie and a black shirt is standing against a white background smiling for the camera. He has his arms crossed in front of him, which maybe, maybe not uh, showcasing his outfit. The boy appears to be happy and confident as he poses. So I like this description we're going to keep it and see what it comes up with so what you want to do is just really crank up that uh, structure so that it really tries to match the face of the image that you give it and then when you go under the styles there's several styles that you can do here of course regular cartoons and different styles what i'm going for here is uh this 3d illustration innocent cutie so i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to click on stylize all right so we have our creation here um so as you can see it's tried very much and this one right here actually looks pretty close to our, our character that we have here but somehow it's making him a white guy and this is a black guy so i think it has to do with the prompt so i'm going to edit the prompt a little bit so where it says a young man i'm going to say a young black uh man uh, other than that i think everything else seems to be quite accurate so let's try to regenerate this one more time all right, so now that we added black to the prompt, it's actually giving us black characters. So we can move around. Um, I mean, some of these look like him. This one here, I guess, could pass as a younger version of him. And again, you can continue to restylize until you get something that looks um, a little bit uh, more like the character you're trying to generate. But I'm trying to go for a little bit more cartoonish, caricature-like character. So I might actually choose one of these that looks more piece, uh, piece like So I'll go with this one right here, number two, just because it looks a little bit more cartoonish. This looks a little bit too realistic for me. So I'll click on this. And then what you want to do is simply just put on canvas. So that places it on uh, the canvas. So you want to select as many as you want to use because the moment you go out of that, you lose all the generations. So sometimes you may want to generate several variations of your character so when you're doing your animations, you can have him wearing different clothing and things like that. And that is easy to do. What you want to do is modify the prompt. So for example, instead of a gray hoodie, I could change this to a red hoodie. Uh, so we have different clothing for different scenes and then go ahead and stylize that. So as you can see, it's generated a few more options here uh, with that hint of red. And I tried this a couple more times. Uh, we did have different types of red coming in, but because of the gray it has, we still have a mix of gray and you can play around with your prompt until you get exactly what you want so i'm going to grab a couple of these and put them on our canvas and we're going to go ahead all right so once you add an image to your canvas you see it right here in layers just the way you have in photoshop and you can use the little eye icon here to turn them on and off so in this case i have this here turned on and there are other variations of these that i've done previously like you know the one with the red jacket and all I have them all here so but what i'm interested in is this one right here so what you finally want to do is just simply export this and we take that to another software 
where we can animate it um depending on what you are trying to do with this for example put him in different uh, environment i do recommend to remove the background all right now that we have our background removed we can import whatever background we want to put behind the image so for example i can import right here an image i have here of a studio and i'll just drag that uh from here and put it at the bottom so you see now we have our guy in the studio and you can put whatever it is image you want and even have it generate for you backgrounds. But what I'm going to do is uh, because I want to be able to edit the background after we've animated this, you can go to Google Images and simply just search for a solid green background and download that. So I'm going to put that right here. So I have a background here of a solid green. I'll drag that here to the bottom and I'm going to click and just expand that like so all right so we now have our character on a green background so now we're going to go ahead and animate it and then after animating it i'm going to use my editing software to change the backdrop this way i can change my mind and change it to whatever backdrop after editing without having to keep uh coming back here to re-export that so now that we have this all done i'm just going to go ahead and click on export you can do this as a png if you want to keep the transparent background or export it as a jpeg or whatever it is you want to export and just go ahead and click on export and it will export your image for you so when it comes to animating this image that we've just created there are several tools that can do this and do this pretty well but the one i like to use is a tool called did so we're going to use that so i've gone right here to their website uh studio.did.com and i have logged in when you log in they give you for the first time you get uh, 20 credits uh, which you can use to test this out so this is why i like this too you can use that for free without having to pay any amount of money so i have this open right here i'm going to click right here on create video all right so once you have the interface opened uh you have the option to use one of these avatars but in our case we want to use the custom character we just generated so i'm going to click on add and select the image that i downloaded right here all right so we have this loaded now that we have this loaded uh we can now begin to actually animate this character and there are two ways to do that you can upload a custom audio recording or maybe your voice if you wanted to use your voice or a voice you've recorded somewhere or you can type in a script and use one of their text to script option right here their text to speech options so they have a couple voices right here that you can use uh, just type in what you want the character to say and he's gonna say that but in my case i have audio that i already generated so i'm gonna go to the audio option and upload that right here good morning champion you did it you got out of bed so once you have your audio i'm just gonna click on generate video so you can see here it says i'm gonna use one credit for this and i have 20 credits left so i can do about 20 videos all right, so our video is generated. So let's go ahead and play it to see what it sounds like. Good morning, champion. You did it. You got out of bed and that's the first victory of the day. Now it's time to seize the moment and make the most of this brand new day. So as you can see, not bad at all. Um, it added some emotions there and some movement to uh, your character. So if you're wondering about a watermark, they put that there because it's the trial version. If you do pay for it, the $5, they do take out the watermark so that's a little bit of a bummer but um at least you can use this to test that you can get the right result before you actually pay for it to get a watermark out of it if you enjoyed this tutorial so far do me a favor and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you get notified when i release more tutorials like this so let's continue with this so i have my video generated and because we use the green screen background i have to change the backdrop you can use whatever video editing software that you're comfortable with i have tons of tutorials on different free online tools but for this particular video, I'm just going to do this on Premiere Pro. Okay, I have Premiere Pro open here and I have an image that I've generated uh, using DALI of a 3D room that we can put our character in. So I'm just going to drag that video of the character that we just generated. I will scale this a little bit to fit in. And I don't have all those watermarks because I'm using the paid version here. And then I'm going to go to effects and drag in an effect called Ultra Key. And simply use the pen tool to select the green i'll probably change this to aggressive to remove some of the green shades and we now have our character uh properly blended into the scene 
And with a little bit of camera animation and uh, sound effect, this is what the final product uh, looks like. Good morning, champion. You did it. We got out of bed and that's the first victory of the day. Now it's time to seize the moment and make the most of this brand new day. If you notice, the animations we got from this are quite subtle, so a little bit of movement of the head, blinking, and movement of the lips. But I have another tutorial coming up where we're still going to do some 3D animations, but a little bit more advanced using some different tools. So if you want to see that, you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified when that tutorial comes out. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you keep learning.